What is up, Autograph Nation? TTM Troy here from ttmautograph.com, and I am so happy that you're here for me today, or that I'm here for you. One of the, one of those. I don't know, um, because I have one very special TTM today. Uh, I was actually really excited to get this one. Uh, you know, I always like getting every return, but this one is a little bit more special because it goes back to uh, some people that I know that uh, are related to this person. It's kind of a weird web of, of weaving that I've done, but let's get straight into the TTMs. You wanna see them, I wanna show them to you, and here it comes, wind it up for the first one. Ready? Boom. <laughs> All right. First we have Stefan Beauregard. He signed two of two in 30 days, and I sent these on uh, September 22nd of 2022 and received them on October 22nd of 2022. And you can see the address up there in Canada, right there in Quebec. Uh, Stefan, Stefan, sorry, I, I gotta get the emphasis on the right syllable there. So Stefan was drafted 57th overall in 1988 and played for from uh, 1988 to 2000 for the Winnipeg Jets and the Philadelphia Flyers. And he spent most of his career in the minor leagues where he played for uh, uh, the, the Spiders in their only year of existing from 1995 to 1996, which is very, very interesting. So there you go, Stefan Beauregard. So here is the very special TTM that I got, and let's just go to it, and then I'll cut back here and kind of tell you the story, okay? So here you go. Boom. Dave Babich. He signed two of two in 37 days. I sent this on September 22nd of 2022 and received it on October 9th, or October 29th of 2022. And the address for Dave Babich is on Star Tiger. Uh, there are some different uh, addresses also on Sports Card Forum, but uh, I went with the one on Star Tiger. So he was drafted second overall in 1980 and played from 1980 to 1999 for the Jets, the Whalers, the Canucks, the Flyers, and the LA Kings. And then he had an actual injury uh, and he actually filed a couple of uh, lawsuits against his former teams as well as the surgeon for misdiagnosing a broken foot. And he was awarded a, uh, almost 1.5 million according to sources. So Dave Babich ended his career with 1,195 games, 723 points and 581 assists. So there you go. So Dave Babich. So let me tell you uh, the reason why I really liked this uh, TTM so, so much is Dave Davidge is actually an uncle to uh, four, I call them kids, but they're like 40 years old right now. <laughs> um, uh, it was a singing group called The Moffats in the 1990s and early 2000s. And I did their website way back when. And so I go and I, I you know, I, I went to Florida with them. I went to uh, uh, a few different places with them. I saw them in California, Iowa, uh, up, I think Michigan, and uh, just all over the place. And so I did their website, and they're his nephews. So the Moffats are Dave Babbage's uh, nephews. And I remember them saying on one of their interviews, I think it maybe had been Sally Jesse Raphael or something, uh, that Dave Babbage was their, their uncle. And so when I found a Dave Babbage card, I was like, ah, <laughs> I finally see. And then when it actually came back, uh, you know, I was like, ah, oh, this is cool. So I need to send a, a screenshot to some of the, the Moffat brothers and see what they say. But that's just kind of a fun story. So uh, he did write me a little note on my request um, because I know the dad too, obviously. And so, I don't know, just kind of a fun story about Dave Babbage. But let's go back to the TTMs, and let's just go straight to the next one because I kind of spent a lot of time on Mr. Babbage. So here you go. Boom. All right, I am going to mispronounce this pretty badly, I bet. <laughs> Luis Alicia. He signed two of two in 81 days. 
Now I sent this on October or August 18th of 2022 and received it on November 7th of 2022. And the address is on Sports Card Forum. Now uh, the one on uh, fanmail.biz is old. So do not use the one on fanmail.biz. Use the one on Sports Card Forum. Uh, so he is a World Series champion with the Red Sox as a coach from 2007. And during his playing career, he was drafted 23rd pick overall in 1986 and then went on to, uh, you know, play in the major leagues from uh, 1988 to 2002 for the Cardinals, the Red Sox, the Angels, the Rangers, and then the Royals. And then, as I said, he coached for the Red Sox and the Mets. But during his playing career, he had a batting average of .260 with 47 home runs and 422 RBIs. Luis Alicia. Next we have Fred Breinig. He signed one of one in 46 days. Now I sent this on September 5th of 2022 and received it on October 21st of 2022. And you can see the address right there. Now he played from 1980 to 1984 for the Giants and the Expos. And he actually only played for 27 games uh, in the majors and had only one save when he fielded a bunt by Ray Knight and blew out his shoulder. So his career was cut short there. <laughs> I, don't know, I shouldn't laugh about that, but um, I don't know why I laughed. Why did I laugh? I don't know. Anyway, he had a win-loss record of 27 and 20 with an ERA of 3.34 and 260 strikeouts. So there you go. One of one in 46 days. So I want to thank all of you for staying here with me today. I really appreciate it. And I am going to take this little TTM cheat sheet right here and kind of slide it over there. <laughs> if, if some of you don't know, I actually have this little uh, index card that I use and I put all the information on an index card and it just kind of helps me uh, figure out what I am going to say during these videos. And then I go into the wild world of editing the videos and scanning and doing all that fun stuff. Um, would you, do you guys want to see kind of like a start to finish of how I do one of these TTM videos? If so, let me know down in the comments if that is something that you would like to see. I'd kind of show you uh, filming it and then editing it and scanning things and making the little cheat sheet cards, I guess, and kind of just go through the process of what I do. If that if that's something that you would like, let me know, put it down in the comments, and uh, just, and if you don't, then that's fine too. I just thought it might be fun to do that sometime, and maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. <laughs> but it is up to you. You can do it. All right, so. Thank you again for watching this video and may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye.